It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. So your boy Lil Nas X dropped his album Montero, uh, has a lot of big name features on the album. Megan Thee Stallion's on the album, Doja Cat's on the album, Miley Cyrus is on the album, uh, I believe Elton John's on the album, and I do hear that he has some remixes as well lined up. Now, it was reported that Nicki Minaj and Drake turned down offer for collaborations. And a lot of people think it's because, oh, you know, you know, of Lil Nas' lifestyle. It's not even because of his lifestyle. And I can't really say it's for his antics because Nicki did a record with 6 9 even though that was a different situation. Here's the real reason, the number one reason why. Of course, they don't like the antics. But the number one reason why they did not do the uh, collaborations is because Lil Nas X's uh, manager is the same dude um, who manages Miley Cyrus. Now, he's also very close to Billy Ray Cyrus. So we all know what happened in, in, with that situation with Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj. So she didn't want to have to deal with his manager, which they would have had to deal with the manager at some point, um, even though the label would have the ultimate say. But she wasn't even going to go about doom. And on top of that, I don't think that, you know, neither one of those artists at this point in their career you know, want to be tied to Little Nas X. So um, that's the what I uh, received back from that. Um, next thing is we have Chloe Bailey. Chloe Bailey came on and said she did not sell her soul and there's a rumor and she did, is not a part of Illuminati. Well, listen, the first thing is, uh, Chloe, you're never going to admit that you sold your soul. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're not going to hit any artist, if you, unless you're Kanye West, who put in a rap. But every single time these artists get accused of being an Illuminati and selling their soul, they all say the same thing. Oh, I love God. You know, you know what? The, the, de the devil's a God, too. So there's, there's certain ways that they, have, you know, have been taught to talk, you know, in public. So, of course, you go, oh, I love God. You know, the de and again, I said it, the devil's a god as well. So I'm going to have more of a breakdown of that on my YouTube show Saturday night. Moving on to my girl, Sweetie. She got a deal with Crocs and Ranch. Um, a lot of people saw this deal and were saying, why didn't Crocs give Nicki Minaj a deal? Okay, so, you know, I do know that Nicki Minaj, especially since she broke the website, you know, she put the website down and just just from a selfie with the with the Crocs. But here's the deal: Crocs never offered Nicki Minaj a deal. That was just something that she did. You know, let everybody seem to think that they had a deal in place, but they did not. That was just something that Nicki, you know, put on for that day. You know, so but there was never a deal in place with Crocs. So you know. For people that saying, well, why they should have just gave Nikki that check, you know. I mean, it would have it would have made sense, being though that's you know how how quick the website went down and everybody's reaction to Nikki putting on pink Crocs and and just within a matter of minutes the website crashed. So yes, it would have made sense, but it just didn't happen. Like they just didn't do business with her and they gave the deal to Sweetie. Sweetie continues to get those checks. Right. So now the other thing that we have to talk about is Karen Civil. Karen Civil seems to be in the news and she's getting called out by Jesse Wu. Uh, now, remember, if you remember, Jesse Wu is the same girl who called out Cardi B um, about a month, about a month and a half ago, two months ago, somewhere around there, stating that Cardi B was planned by the record industry to take down Nicki Minaj. If you remember, there was a big um, confrontation online with Cardi and, and Jesse Wu. Now, Jesse Wu comes out and says that, you know, Karen Civil is a scam artist. You know, where we heard that before. <laughs> now, Karen Civil is a scam artist and she put some paperwork up there that, you know, Karen scammed her, you know, and was, and was, was booking her 
you know, putting, giving her fake bookings, so on and so forth. Now, then other people has come out behind her and said, you know, people like, um, what's his name? Um, Joyner, Joyner Lucas came back and was like, yeah, this woman scammed me out of money. Cameron has said she scammed, he scammed her cousin, his cousin out of $40,000. You know, Nipsey Hussle's family. I already gave you the scoop with Karen and Nipsey Hussle. All right? See, all this stuff starts cause that, that I say, you know, months and years in advance. It leaks out. Because I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, but right now, Karen Sybil's feet is to the fire. Because a lot of times people... Uh, drag Karen Civil and they drag stuff out front and it never really goes anywhere. I was the one who told y'all that Karen Civil was behind Remy Ma really getting shelved and after Sheetha, Remy Ma's career, not really going anywhere, after it was supposed to take, it, take off after Sheetha, I told everybody that it was Karen Civil behind the scenes that she was the one really stopping Remy's bags. Remy was blaming Nicki Minaj, but it wasn't Nicki Minaj. It was Karen Civil. <laughs> so I told y'all that. So, you know, everybody now is questioning, oh my God, Karen Civil is doing this. And shout out to Jason Lee, much as I hate to do it. But, you know, I messed with Hollywood a lot. I never had a problem with them. I just didn't really like Jason Lee. But Jason Lee did say a long time ago, now I don't agree with him throwing Nicki Minaj's name in there every time mentioning Karen Civil, but Karen Civil has been, you know, she's been behind the scenes doing F, FS for a long time. <laughs> so, and he exposed that a long time ago and nobody really believed him. But listen, they don't call it a black widow for nothing. And you can take that any way you want. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends.